In this video we are going to talk about 10 signs that your liver is in trouble. So before starting this video, please like this video, subscribe and turn on the on the notification to our channel for future updates. The liver is a large organ that is roughly the size of a football. It's located on the right side of your abdomen, just beneath your rib cage. The liver is responsible for digesting food and eliminating toxins from the body. Liver disease can be passed down through the generations, genetic. Viruses, alcohol use, and obesity are just a few of the things that can harm the liver. Damage to the liver over time can cause scarring, cirrhosis, which can lead to liver failure, which is a life-threatening condition. However, early treatment may allow the liver to heal. Your liver plays an important role in your overall health. According to the Institute for Quality and Efficiency in Healthcare, the liver is responsible for metabolic functions such as converting nutrients from your diet so your body can use them and ensuring toxic substances are flushed out before they cause harm. When your liver is in trouble and not functioning properly, it will try to tell you something is wrong in a variety of ways. Because it's critical that you don't ignore these warning signs, no matter how subtle they may be, and maintain your health during these unprecedented times. Damage to the liver is a silent killer. Thousands of Americans die each year from cirrhosis, liver failure, liver cancer, and liver disease, but the causes of these deadly diseases are poorly understood by the general public. Several organizations work to raise awareness of these sometimes fatal illnesses and their symptoms. Do I have signs of liver damage? Because the symptoms of liver damage can be difficult to spot. The signs and symptoms of liver damage are frequently caused by a combination of factors. So, what are the common signs of liver damage? Here's a list of 10 signs that your liver is in trouble. Number 10. Chronic fatigue. Chronic fatigue is a complicated disorder characterized by extreme fatigue that lasts for at least 6 months and that can't be fully explained by an underlying medical condition. The fatigue worsens with physical or mental activity, but doesn't improve with rest. The most common symptoms of liver damage are exhaustion, tiredness, and fatigue but they can be associated with so many other diseases that they often go undiagnosed. According to studies, changes in brain chemistry caused by impaired liver function may be the root cause of liver-related chronic fatigue. Number 9. Swollen ankles. Swelling can sometimes indicate a problem with the heart, liver, or kidneys. However, in many cases, the reason is a liver problem. Swollen ankles in the evening could be a sign of salt and water retention due to right-sided heart failure. The liver's production of albumin, which prevents blood from leaking out of blood vessels into the surrounding tissues, can be affected by liver disease. Fluid leakage can be caused by insufficient albumin production. Fluid accumulates more in the feet and ankles due to gravity, but it can also accumulate in the abdomen and chest. Consult your doctor right away if your swelling is accompanied by other symptoms such as fatigue, swollen ankles, or weight gain. It can also be a side effect of ascites, a condition that causes abdominal swelling. It manifests as a buildup of fluid around the ankles, feet, and legs. This occurs when the body's ability to produce and circulate proteins is hampered by a malfunctioning liver. Gravity pulls fluids downward, causing circulatory issues in the lower extremities. Number 8. Changes in appetite. A lack of appetite is another symptom of liver damage. When combined with the other symptoms on this list, this is considered a sign of advanced liver disease. If you're an alcoholic who's noticed a change in your appetite, it's possible you have alcoholic fatty liver disease. When fat builds up in the liver as a result of drinking, alcoholic fatty liver disease develops. This can impair the liver's ability to function properly. Weight loss, loss of appetite, and tiredness are some of the symptoms to watch for if you have fatty liver disease. A person may experience jaundice, itching, and swelling if the disease progresses and develops into cirrhosis. Fatty liver disease has no known cause, but certain health conditions may play a role in its development. Number 7. Nausea and upset stomach. If you're experiencing a few of these symptoms along with nausea and vomiting, it could be a sign of liver damage or failure. It is caused by the body's decreased ability to process and eliminate waste. Continuous nausea is a reaction to the body's excess waste products, and unexplained vomiting is frequently linked to liver issues. Early symptoms of liver disease include nausea and upset stomach, but as your liver's ability to eliminate toxins declines, your digestive distress will likely worsen. Number 6. Change in bowel movements. 
Have you ever had constipation, IBS symptoms, or changes in the color or composition of your stool? If this is the case, it could be a sign of liver damage. If the stools are pale, it may indicate a problem with the liver or other part of the biliary drainage system. Black tarry stools can happen in advanced liver disease and are caused by blood passing through the gastrointestinal tract this needs urgent medical attention. Number 5. Skin Problems. Do you have redness, unusual skin thickness, and soreness on your hands, as well as itchy flaky skin? Because a damaged liver can affect the body's fluid flow, this can be a symptom of liver damage. Bleeding from small blood vessels in the skin can cause a reddish-purple rash with tiny dots or larger splotches. People who have had their liver function impaired for a long time may itch all over and develop small yellow fat bumps on their skin or eyelids. Number 4. Urine Changes. One of the first signs of liver failure is a change in the color of your urine. If your urine is turning a dark yellow or brown color, it could be a sign that your liver isn't properly removing waste. Because bilirubin is excreted through the kidneys, urine is usually dark. High bilirubin levels can be caused by inflammation, other abnormalities of the liver cells, or bile duct blockage. Number 3. Soreness in the right side of the abdomen. A good liver punch to the upper right side of the abdomen can cause a lot of pain, as any boxer will tell you. Pain in the upper right-hand side of your abdomen, even if you're not a boxer, can be an early sign of liver problems. The pain is usually described as a stabbing or throbbing ache by patients. It doesn't always mean there's a problem with the liver, but it should be checked out by a doctor. Number 2. Jaundice. When your blood contains too much bilirubin, a yellow-orange substance, you get jaundice. It's found in the red blood cells of your body. The liver filters the bloodstream when those cells die. However, if something is wrong with your liver, bilirubin builds up and causes your skin to turn yellow. One of the most well-known symptoms of liver disease is jaundice. This is usually the most noticeable of all the signs of alcohol-induced liver damage. It occurs when the skin and whites of the eyes turn a yellowish-brown color. Because the liver is damaged and unable to remove this waste product effectively, bilirubin, a bile pigment, builds up in the bloodstream, causing this discoloration. Number 1. Swollen Abdomen. One of the first signs of liver damage is a swollen abdomen, ascites, which should always be investigated by a doctor. In its later stages, it can resemble a pregnancy bump. Cirrhosis can cause a buildup of fluid around the liver, causing the abdomen to swell as the fluid level rises. Ascites can be a warning sign of cirrhosis. Fluid leaks from the surface of the liver and intestine cause ascites, a fluid buildup in the belly and abdominal cavity. Ascites from liver disease is frequently associated with other symptoms of liver disease, such as portal hypertension. A swollen belly is one of the signs of ascites. Using these tips as a guideline, and regularly consulting your physician, will help to ensure that you detect the early signs of liver damage if they appear. So that's it for today's video. What do you think of our list? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notification before you go. Thanks for watching.